Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. <laughs> And so, to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. You were responsible for this. I'm the reason you're here, yes. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters, seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, and so chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You're expecting something else? I was. But I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Denarius wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you, I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Gone. I had hoped... <sighs> no, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Denarius left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of even more mages. You can speak to me directly. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. You harbor a viper in your midst. It will turn on you and strike when you least expect. That is in its nature. I don't remember you objecting too strenuously while we were fighting. I'm not blind. I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. But even the best-intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. And then, their power is a curse to inflict upon others. No one's stopping you from moving on, you know. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Denarius, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. 
A Grigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put off. I'll take that as a compliment. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Three years. There's still no sign of Denarius. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Isn't this what you wanted? Yes, but... Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You start over. Isn't that what you want? I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. I might be able to help with your problems. I'll give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few. The good kind. Tempting. You're a handsome man, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? Do you see anyone else here? I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm a refugee as well as a human. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to consider it. Stop! You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. Ha! <laughs> the location of Denarius. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes, you have my word. Her name is Verania. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Eremon. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. We are done here. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. This could be a trap. Denarius could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, trying to find her would still be suicide. Denarius has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot and all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. Maybe we should leave. No, I don't want you comforting me.
You saw what was done here. There's always going to be some reason, some excuse why mages need to do this. Even if I found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. I took out my anger on you, undeservedly so. I was not myself. I'm sorry. I had no idea where you went. I was concerned. I needed to be alone. When I was still a slave, Hadriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, hound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. What do you mean? This hate. I thought I'd gotten away from it. But it dogs me no matter where I go. To feel it again. To know it was they who planted it inside me. It was too much to bear. Ah, but I didn't come here to burden you further. You don't need to leave, Fenris. I think it would be best for both of us if I did.